to our party 2021. Today we're going to be making paint. This this project was inspired by the artist Ed Ruscha and the Teotihuacan murals. Here's Hannah who will show you how to do it. Also, you can pause this video anytime you want. Hello there. I'm so glad I get to share this fun project your whole family can do together. For thousands of years, artists from around the world have made paint from things like rocks, minerals and plants. Many of the same ingredients are still used today. Some rocks are harder than others. Did you know that chalk is a type of rock? Here's a whole cliffside made of chalk. Are you ready to make some paint? You'll need some chalk, a baggie, something to craft the chalk with, jar, measuring spoon, white glue, water, paintbrush, and a piece of paper to paint on. Chalk is naturally white. Color has been added to make these chalks. We can use that color to make our paint. Break a piece of chalk into pieces and put in the baggie. Firmly press the end of a can to crush the chalk. Anything smooth and heavy will work. Like a pebble or a rolling pin. You might need some help or try switching hands. Be patient. It takes a little time. Once the chalk is ground into a powder, we call it the pigment. Now you need the liquid. We call that the binder. Our recipe is pigment plus binder equals paint. In the glass jar, measure a tablespoon of white glue and a tablespoon of water. Gently mix with the brush, tip in the pigment and stir. Use paper from the art box. After it dries, you can use the painted paper in the other art projects later this week. This ancient mural fragment is from Teotihuacan in Mexico. The artist also ground up rocks to make the dark red surrounding the warrior bird. It was made from hematite, which can be found in rocks all over, including right here in California. Can you guess which colour they made from this mineral, called malachite? Yep, that lovely bright green on the feathers. You could also try making paint with ingredients you can find at home. Some artists use eggs as a binder to make a special paint called tempera. Maybe try colourful spices and other ingredients as your pigment. Or crush more chalk if you prefer. You can store these paints in the fridge for a few days before they go bad. Look how vibrant that turmeric yellow is. It almost shimmers when you hold it in the light. The artist Jacob Lawrence used egg tempera with mineral pigments in this work called Migration, painted in 1947. The colours really seem to glow. Can you guess which pigment made which paint? Cocoa. Turmeric. Curry.
paprika, ginger, chili. Here's another idea. You can think outside the box and use things to paint with that aren't even paint, like strong tea or coffee. Try painting one layer, letting it dry and adding more layers. You can create some pretty amazing effects by manipulating where the paint goes and adding drips and swirls. Can you guess what the artist Ed Rouché used to make this piece in 1970? I'll give you a hint. The work is called Pepto Caviar Hollywood. He used Pepto Bismol and caviar for his colours. I guess Rouché didn't learn to not play with his food. I wonder what pigments you'll try and what your favourites will be. You can mix any pigment with any binder. Maybe try spice pigments with the glue binder. Or try chalk pigment with the egg binder. I can't wait to see what you create and would love to know what recipes and ingredients you use. My favourite recipe was the chilli powder and egg and water. But... I also liked the cinnamon and the glue because it smelled good. But I liked the chalk color because it looked better. It had better colors. I discovered the fun scratch and sniff or paint and sniff of paprika and the fun flavor of curry also the turmeric was great but maybe next time we shouldn't use the whole bag